The crazy story of the best footballer who never played, the Kaiser, Carlos Enrique Raposo, a name synonymous with deception in the football world. A 13-year career, yet he never stepped on the pitch. How did he manage to deceive some of the biggest clubs like Botafogo, Flamengo, and Fluminense? Let's dive into the unbelievable journey of the Kaiser. Starting with Puebla in Mexico, he strategically secured contracts with Botafogo, Flamengo, and Fluminense, not with the intention to play, but to manipulate situations. His key to success? Friendships with influential players like Carlos Alberto Torres, Romario, and Gaucho, who facilitated his entry into these clubs. But why did Kaiser go to such lengths to avoid playing? The players knew about it, but they were all friends of mine, he explains. His elaborate schemes included faking injuries, missing training sessions, and even paying journalists to publish misleading reports. The closest he came to playing, against Coritiba, ended in a fight with fans, resulting in his dismissal before even stepping onto the field. His deception extended to the medical realm. Kaiser once duped the club president with a fake dental problem, ensuring he never had to set foot on the pitch. It was pure bullshit, he candidly recalls. In the documentary film, The Greatest Footballer Never to Play Football, Kaiser opens up about his unconventional career. I'm the greatest footballer who never played football. I slept with 1,000 women and pretended to be injured my whole career, he boldly admits. His charm and association with top Brazilian footballers turned him into a magnet for women. A self-proclaimed sex addict, Kaiser proudly shares, I would sleep with at least three women a day. The tale of the Kaiser unfolds as we unravel the unparalleled journey of the man who mastered the art of deception in Brazilian football. Stay tuned for more unbelievable stories. This is football like you've never seen before.